What's going on? All right, the shop is mostly cleaned up. It's time to get on to another video. Let me just get Pack Out Princess. Woohoo! Pack Out Princess. Out. Pack Out Princess, come on. Oh, I come we out. got a video. Get out of here. Oh, I don't want to come out. Come on, it's Friday. It's so hot. Well, you could wear a bathing suit or a bikini or something. I could, but it's so hot out here. I don't want to talk. But I need help making the video. But it's hot. I don't okay. want to do it. Okay, this video is specifically for you. You're gonna need a parka and a sweater by the time we're done with this video. A parka? What do you think we're going to like Alaska? Come here, stand right here. Right here? Close your eyes. Go like okay. this. I got a present for you. You ready? Okay. Are you making snow? Open your eyes. It's a box. It's, it's two, two boxes. boxes. What? What is in the box? It's two boxes. Guess why it's two boxes? I don't know. Why. Okay. Inside, outside. It's this one's mini, and they're split. I'm giving you hints. Quick comment below if you know why I'm saying mini and split. Because you're going to make it snow? It, it, when the sucker gets in, you're going to need a, a, yes, it's going to split. What's in the box? It's the mini split. What's a mini split? It's an air conditioner, but it doesn't require all the duct work and stuff. Oh. This oh. is what goes outside. Oh. It's a lot smaller. And this is what goes inside. And this little guy, it just hangs up on a wall. It's just a wee little guy. Where are you going to put it? Well, I'm going to put it on the wall over there. Oh. So. What we're going to do, since you're cool in this attire, I'm going to have you be the camera person this time. Okay, good. Because we're going to actually get this sucker installed in this video. Awesome. So we'll be right back. We're going to get this wall empty. We're going to get the boxes out. We'll lay the things on the table or the floor. We'll show you what we're going to get, and then we'll get to installing. All right, let's do it. All right, thanks, camera girl. Okay, bye. All right, it is all on unboxed and this is almost everything I think I'll need plus probably you know a few thousand more things no, I'm kidding not a few thousand more things so we've got the inside unit right here this is the wall mount I've got it resting on the styrofoam that it came in because there's stuff that's coming out the back it's important we don't want to pinch anything we don't want to kink anything okay this is a condensate line and this is the extension for it the remote some batteries some wiring stickers that go on there directions all right, so this is the line set that it comes with. There is the high side and the low side, and it is pre-insulated. There's a wall grommet and some putty to seal your hole, and then some tape to wrap the lines. This is the cover for the electrical. Again, if you are not familiar with how to do any of this stuff, you're gonna to wanna to consult a professional or have a professional do the wiring, things like that, obviously. Well, maybe not obviously, but I know what I'm doing. So, uh, tools, uh, not a lot, but I got my SDS Plus. I've got my surge, uh, a level. I'm gonna need a big bit because we gotta run this line set through the wall. But what I'm gonna do first is I get this unit on the table, on the bench. I'm gonna pull the wall mount bracket up, off and get it hung up, which if you look over there, whoo, the magic of editing. Bracket's already on the wall. I will show you in a quick clip after this how easy it is to put that up. But you wanna get that up and then you want to get your measurement setups so where you're going to need to drill your downward facing hole because your condensation, you want it to drain away. But where you want to do, drill your downward facing hole so that you can get your line set, your power whip, uh, your condensate, and all that through the wall. So that is what I'm going to do next. And we'll be back after I have a big hole in my wall. Okay, so now that I have my holes drilled, this actually this should be simple. I just need to get. I'm gonna use some of these style anchors. Should have a hammer ready.
So now I'm just going to drop this guy on. All right, that's it. So the wall mount bracket's up. That wasn't hard, like I said. All right, so the uh, almost three inch hole is done. You can see here, this is what it looks like on each side. I've got it at a downward angle. I'm gonna walk over here. And you can see that I've got this all sort of prepped. So I've got the lines did. Uh, add some tools, so I'll show you what I got here. So on the line set, you do need to torque down. So I've got my wrenches, I've got an opened end for the one that I didn't have the exact size, the one I did, I put this on one end and then I get one of these on here onto the torque wrench so that I can get uh, within the ratings that are needed to torque these fittings, which they are in the manual. I went ahead and wrapped the part that I'm not gonna be able to get too easily. And I've got my power and signal wire and then I've got my condensate extended so what I'm gonna do, it's definitely not gonna get filmed, but we are going to feed this hose through the wall onto the other side. Same thing with this, same thing with this. And if you remember I said, I drilled my hole downward so that this line is sloped so we don't get water trapped in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask the camera person to set the camera down and we're gonna feed all this through the wall, get it out the other side and get working on that guy. Hey, hey. Oh. It's up. I got it hung. It looks good. What and are you working on over there? The, uh, Here, let's let's turn. AC this. guy just came out, and we hooked a vacuum up to this. Okay. Line so these are all tight, and have a good vacuum. Okay. So now we've got cover panels. Oh, okay. Grommets. Make it look all pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the rest of this, and then pull this down and zip tie this out of the way, and make this look good. Uh, but yeah, we technically have AC in the garage. Woohoo! Now it's nice and cold. I guess go to the store and get a parka. A parka, yep. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna get to work. Okay, sounds good. All right, see ya. We're producing water. Now, you might say it's a little loud, but it's not this one, it's that one. This one's hooked up, it's running. And as you can see by the evidence on the ground, condensate line is doing its job, bringing the moisture out the wall. Got a good drip or a good angle out on that. I cleaned up the lines the way I like. I've got my power cleaned up. I've got my cover on. And when I say power cleaned up, it's temporarily cleaned up because this one is a temporary cord. It will get changed to this when I pull a little disconnect out here. So that way, if you're working on the unit, you can go ahead and turn the power off, no problem. But everything generally is the way I need it, the way I want it. And like I said, I got my neighbor out here that has a vacuum pump and he's an HVAC guy. And we were able to pull a vacuum on it so the lines were clean of air and also showed that there were no leaks. So at that point we're able to proceed. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this inside and when we go inside, uh, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna pull power from, uh, which that'll be done in the future. Uh, I'll show you how cold it is and I'll show you all the tools that we use. <clears throat> oh, didn't see there, sorry, that's cold. So I gotta get the plastic off, but you can see it's up, it's running, the fins are open, blowing cold air. Perfect excuse to get in here and do the rest of the explanation. Power coming down the wall. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and tap in, pull out to there. Over here, over here, I was saying, uh, this is sort of the gambit of tools that I needed. Uh, it, it sort of runs all over, right? Drills, impacts, that's normal thing. You can rent an SDS, you can rent a core bit. Uh, electrical wise, normal pliers, uh, levels. As far as wrenches, everyone's got normal ones, open end and, you know, adjustable uh, if you can use, you know, open end and get around it better. But I did have to buy this set of open end and these ones are better for the flare nuts. Uh, and I've got these specifically so that I could use it with the torque wrench. But generally speaking, everything that I have here it, besides the SDS Plus, this Corvette, the, the adapters, and the torque wrench is a tool that most people will have 
Uh, so if you did want to do it yourself, you probably have most of this stuff here. Again, like I said, you could rent these. So let's go ahead and see if we can get uh, Pack Out Princess to uh, relinquish the camera for a minute and we'll see what she thinks. All right, we can go. Hey, check out, look. I'm absolutely I'm, not. What are you doing? I'm, what are you... I'm ready to help you with a video. That's not how we do. What do you but mean? it's cold out here now. Oh, so, so, so I this. Can, I can help you do your video. Look, I'll, I'll help. Okay. I've got. What are you doing? You're gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna First, she comes out to install it. Yeah. Oh, that's just nice. What are you doing? Gonna... That's no, you don't. Yeah. You're not supposed to take that. I do all the work and you get to remove the plastic. This is so satisfying. It's like ASMR. You know how hard it was for me to not remove that beforehand. Tell you what, you stay there. Hey, look, it's got numbers. I know. You stay there and let's show them. Okay. So, what was it you were trying to? Well, look. So, 76. Can you see it? I is can. It, is it coming yeah. up on camera? It's like Yeah, and embedded. then this is the nifty little remote it comes with. So, okay, on, off, right? On, off. But, so, set. So, go ahead and change the temperature. 77? No, no, no. We want it cooler. Oh. Ha. 75? Okay. So, 75. Okay, cool. So, it says, great. So, it has auto cool, dry heat. So, right now it's on cool. And then it has fan. What's the fan on right now? High, medium, and low. Right now it's on high. Which and you can't even really. I was going to say. So I can only hear it because I'm right next to it. So yeah. camera is we'll say it's 10 that feet. far away. Yeah, 10 That's feet not or 10 so. feet. Yeah. Okay. So here, go ahead and turn the fan down. Okay. So let's, let's do, see. let's go low. Speed. Uh, low. There you go. That's low. Okay. So look. That's, that's mid. We're at 75 in here. That's set to 75. Yeah. That's mid. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's mode do? Uh, let's do the swing. Oh, you so, do the swing? All so right. So swing up and down or swing left and right. All right. So, so those are like the there, fence. See right? how can, it's I, going? can I do it? Left and right. Well, it's already on. Look, I'm changing it. So that will adjust the pattern, right? Okay. Of that. Because obviously, if you want to reach all the way over there, you have it straight. If you want to reach down, you have it down. But if you do a swing, it will spread it more gradual. Oh, yeah, the fans, you can see them on the inside moving. The fins. The yep. fins, fans, so sorry. Okay. okay, so that's that's it, right? We have air conditioning. Would you turn oh, it off? That's the display. That's what the display Which button, button? Is. Display button. Oh, so Let's you see. can turn off the temperature. Yeah, okay, I so think it's kind of nice to leave it on. So, or turn it off when I want to set it really cold because you want because, me to save power. Yeah. About that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here, let's look at this. So the timer button, all right, one hour till off, half an hour, 24 hours, and then we push it again, and then it sets it. So now that is going to turn off and then... That'll be a nifty little button for you to use all the time. Right. Do what was it you were saying about the mode? Oh yeah. So mode. If you put mode on, it changes. It scrolls through these. Right. Okay, so, so right dry. now. So it basically dehumidifies. Yeah. Cool auto, which yeah. we're only going to be using it out here. Yeah, for that's cool. all the way off. Auto. Cool. All right. So set us back down to low. Okay. That was speed. Okay. And then. We're gonna let it calm down. We're not gonna talk. So we got that little guy going and that, and that's the only noise out here. Mm -hmm. So that's not bad. No. Okay. All right, let's, let's do our final thoughts. Okay. We're back. And who tang is forever. Yeah. Okay. So it's cool out here. It is. What do you guys think about Pack Out Princess wearing sweaters and beanies from now on? Boo. But we're not dripping sweat, which right. means I can probably get her out here more often. Um, okay. So what do you think on a scale of one to 10 for ease of use? Uh, so for ease, ease of install. Okay, sorry. Ease of install. I'll give it. Okay. Well, are we talking about handy people or not handy people? Oh, well, okay. that's true. For those of you that are handy, I'll give it an eight out of 10. Those of you that ten, are not. Eight out of 10 being hard? Easy. Hard? Oh. Eight out of 10 for easiness. For those of you that know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, and have never picked up a tool in your entire life, I'd probably give you a four out of 10. It's an interesting scale. So from me standpoint, uh, the hardest part is wrestling the line set. You don't want to kink them. 
Right. Right? And okay. you want to make sure you have a couple specialty tools like yeah. a torque wrench. That's why uh, I gave it a 4 out of 10 for those that don't. Right. Because if you're handy and you have a garage full of stuff. Right. Every tool except for a vacuum pump, apparently. <laughs> Luckily, like you have neighbors are four. <laughs> Uh, it, it's, it's really not hard. I had Packout Princess grab the line set. She pushed it through. I held the unit. We sort of snaked it over together. Mm -hmm. Once we got it through the wall, she went on the outside. That is not heavy, right? So no, this, it's not. So if I haven't mentioned it 15,000 times, because occasionally I don't. So this is the cost way, right? This is 115 volt one. So it can go on any normal plug. If you wanted it to, it could be hardwired. You should hardwire it. I put a plug on it to finish the video. Uh, it works fine. It doesn't take a lot of amps. It's much more energy efficient than running a window one or one of those plug-in ones that goes under the door. As far as the ease of install part that we were talking about, the line set and the fact that you have to have a vacuum pump, you know, set of gauges, things like that, you might not have all of that. It's, if you had all that, it's, it's even easier, right? The, just don't kink the line set. You get it through the wall, get it hung on with that easy to use bracket. It's it latched in place. Then you coil up your line set outside, connect it, make sure those ends are tightened. The rest of the stuff is just general tools. You can rent an SDS Plus, an SDS Max. You can rent that big core bit. If you don't have block, you could just use a hole saw. So generally, I had every tool here, except for the open-end uh, wrench adapters for the torque and the vacuum and gauge set. Yep. So she's right, I'll, give her, I'll agree with her. Yeah, I can keep the hat on to hide the hair and I'm not dripping wet. The back of my shirt's not sweating. So I'd say this is a win. Uh, I will put links in the descriptions, uh, in the description, Costway link for this unit, this one specifically. And you can see that they also have a ton of other things on their site. Maybe just comment uh, what video they wanna see next now that we have air conditioning. Yeah. Does that sound good? I think that works. What else should they do? Like, uh -oh. subscribe. <coughs> sneeze and share bless you and not but not the sneezes not the sneezes don't share the sneezes oh don't share the sneezes okay i'll let her hit stop i gotta go wash my hands okay you guys have a good one Bye. i'm gonna stay cool i'm not leaving the garage anymore